tried so hard to let go Writing poetry and rhymes Just to get you off my mind It's either yes or it's no Good morning everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I have noticed that I have surprisingly actually gotten a decent amount of newer subscribers and especially Instagram followers lately. So if you are new here, my name is Abby Aslan and I am a senior at the University of Alabama, but not actually at Alabama. And I'm majoring in accounting and finance and going to grad school next year. So there's a little bit about me, I guess, if you are someone that's new here. And if you are new here, I'd love to hear you guys comment down below and let me know, like, what brought you here recently. Like, if someone recommended you to me, like, if it was a friend or if it was, like, a video or something. Because I feel like one of my recent uploads, um, I've gotten a decent amount of subscribers from. Today is Wednesday. Um, I had my class, online classes started Monday and I had two classes. One of my classes that's meeting on Zoom only meets once a week. My other class still meets Monday, Wednesday, and that's all I have today since today's Wednesday. I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, I pretty much just like did my um, first recommended pre-recorded lecture for corporate tax and then did started my big case for strategic management that's due on Sunday. And working on that case is what I've been doing all morning and I started it last night. I've classed in exactly three hours, so I think instead of working out after class today, I'm gonna work out before just so I can get it done with. Um, but I'm about to eat some lunch since it's 11.30 already and I've been up for about three hours. I'm getting kind of hungry. So yeah, I've just been working on my case as you guys can see I just split screen it and I have like the actual case on the left and then my document that I'm typing up on the right and I just kind of like we have a ton of different sections and before I do anything I list out all the sections so then I can just go in and do them and not look at what I have to do next so that's that and yesterday I finally updated my sticky um with all my class stuff so I just go through and I put like my um to-do list things based off of like my life youtube school and divided by subject just to have everything in one place so a lot of you guys are always asking how i make my backgrounds i do mine on pic monkey specifically but i look up the size of like a macbook pro a new macbook pro screen um in pixels and then i put that in as the custom size and then i just add a ton of pictures in and then make a collage um and it takes a little bit because you have to like resize things and move them around to look good but i think you have to have a premium pick monkey subscription to do a custom size and if that's the case still i know it was a case a few years ago but i pay for pick monkey for my thumbnails but um you guys can download the app over on your phone just o-v-e-r and it's free and it lets you make custom sizes so you could do one for your phone you could do one for your laptop and just put in research like whatever computer you have the size of screen it is and pixels and then put that in and then add all your pictures and make a collage so let's go eat some lunch i am so hungry i'm not a yo-yo on a string that you flip and twist and swing hey guys i just put my watch on because it's been charging all morning but um it's one and i ate my soup and i worked on my case a little bit more facing griffin now i'm about to go work out <coughs> while my parents are both in meetings um i have my class in an hour and a half so i'm gonna work out and then do some yoga outside i think pretty warm today so i was considering wearing shorts but i honestly hate wearing shorts to work out so i'm gonna wear this um sports bra tank top type thing that i got from marshall's a while ago in like a two pack um by 90 degree reflex and sorry my camera strap is annoying me and i'm gonna wear that with um i really don't feel like wearing these right now but i'm just gonna wear them because i haven't in a while but they're really compressive so that's why i don't want to wear them but they're just my lululemon zoned in tights and like this really pretty blue color i'm gonna get my kettlebell and um resistance band from over there and i think i'm gonna do like a mix of full body and band workout
ate some sliced pears out of the can and made a green smoothie but it's more like a juice consistency which is really weird but it's because i didn't have any frozen fruit so i'm just gonna drink on that during class because my class is gonna start in six minutes and it's my investments class for finance we have a test in it on monday and i've yet to start studying i think i'm gonna start studying tomorrow though and i'm gonna try and finish most of my case this evening so that i can study I just need to figure out what my grade is in the class to see if it's like worth it to study to get a 100 or if I should just study to pass at this point. So, which I know it's, I like, I'm terrible about having that mindset. Like, it's impossible for me to just like not try my best because trying my best is my habit and everything. I never, I don't ever like do anything halfway. If I'm doing something, I'm going to do it with everything I've got. So, and that goes with studying for me too. Like, it stresses me out if I don't give my all into it so it's hard for me to like process this whole pass fail thing um, but I think I'm gonna choose to get a letter grade for my strategic management class because I'm doing really well in it and then probably for I'll definitely do it for my honors elective because I definitely have a hand that and then um, depending on what my finance grade and corporate tax grades are if I get like a B plus or up I'll keep the letter grade but if I get lower than that I'll probably just do pass and like you guys know from the last vlog I've been letting my iPad charge so I can take charge so I can take ow <laughs> I'm clearly losing it but um I have my iPad to take notes on on good notes for this class and this is about to be so miserable I literally feel like I go to sleep right now and the class hasn't even started so that's not a good sign uh, yourself see so uh, it could be our uh, personal uh, portfolio or it could be a professional uh, professional portfolio managed by any of the institutional investors or uh, or a money manager all right uh, so uh, so see so we'll uh, we will see three of the jensen measure and then we'll do a problem writing poetry and rhymes just to get you off my mind it's either yes or it's no so my class ended a little bit early and I have been chilling in bed. Um, we were going to go to the grocery store tonight, but we just think it's going to be better to go in the morning. Um, so we're going to do that tomorrow morning, but I think I'm going to read it for my corporate tax class. Um, I posted on my story yesterday that I was like procrastinating on my schoolwork by researching like retirement accounts and stuff because I'm finally opening up one. It's been something I've wanted to do for like the past year ever since I've actually been able to save um, larger amounts of money and not be living so much paycheck to paycheck um, like I was the majority of my time in college. So since I'm at that point, which I'm really, really grateful for, I don't want my, my I don't want my money and my savings just sitting there um, and not earning interest when it could be or not being invested in anything. Um, and a lot of you guys DM me and ask me to talk about it, which I I can do a video like talking about like what I did and what I'm gonna do and everything once I'm further along. If you guys want to see that, let me know. But I'm not going to like right now or talk about it in a vlog right now just because. I'm a little bit torn on whether I want to do um, a Roth IRA, a Roth 401k, or a solo 401k. And I'm leaning more towards a solo 401k because of the higher um, maximum contribution limits because Roth IRAs you're only allowed to contribute 6000 a year to and I would like to save a little bit more than that into my retirement account if I can, but I don't have to put all of my savings in a retirement account so that's not necessarily like the worst thing in the world in the world to do a Roth IRA. So I'm a little bit all over the place. I've done a lot and a lot and a lot of research, but the biggest thing is figuring out like what provider I want to use because um, different providers charge different fees and charge um, and different providers have different investment options. And I want to make sure that there's like more of a variety of investment options rather than it being limited to certain mutual funds and things like that. So I can talk about it later, but I don't want to go into too much detail now just because I have not made a decision yet. Um, I have still been just researching it and I've just been taking advantage of having this time at home to go ahead and do that because I've always made excuses for it and put it on the back burner since I've always been so busy. But it's definitely something I want to go ahead and do and it's a lot more complicated whenever you're self-employed and everything. Um, yeah, I've just been looking into that but I did go ahead and open up a um, just individual brokerage account so I could like invest in stocks and ETFs and things of that sort and... I went ahead and did that with Charles Schwab and I did a lot of research on that too 
and that just seemed to be the best option for me. Um, everyone has different preferences, but when I was looking everything up, it definitely seemed the best. So that little update on that, but I'm about to read my corporate tax, and tonight I'm gonna try to do my hair a different way, like drying it, like with a cotton t-shirt or whatever, like curly girl way or something like that. Um, I saw, so stay tuned for that. I'm not a yo-yo on a string that you flip and twist and swing. Okay guys, that's been quite some time since I last updated and I pretty much did all my reading but two pages. It's just like really not making a lot of sense. So I have to take a break um, and I'll finish this two or three pages tonight or tomorrow morning. And right now um, I talked to my grandma on the phone and I ate dinner. I just had like fish sticks, beans, and broccoli. And then I just imported footage and everything and waited on that to finish so I could pull my SD card back out and vlog since I only have one here. And I'm started editing it a little bit, but not much. So right now I'm about to shower. This thing I saw on TikTok, I'm sure you guys have seen it. And I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be shocked that I have TikTok. So I didn't have it at all until all of this started happening where we were pretty much stuck at home because I refused to get it during the school year because I knew that it would be like way too much of a distraction and the last thing I needed was something else to distract me like in forms of social media and I had friends that like loved it and everything and they'd always send them to me and I was like sorry you don't have it like I can't see it um when we went on spring break I decided to download it so I could watch it on the car drive to Texas and just have something to look at over spring break I guess and see what the hype was about and it's actually not terrible I thought it was like really cringing at first and now that I've like gotten my for your page to like not be all dances and everything, I actually really like it. Like for example, my entire feed right now is like pretty much travel things and like Canada and Montana and stuff and I really love all that and then a lot of it's like hacks and stuff so um, I don't get on it every day, I just get on it every now and then but um, I do have a decent amount of self-control with it until I get on it. We'll put a screen recording of what I saw on TikTok of how to style like curly hair. And I've seen it before and everything, but I've never really thought to try it. So I really want to try it. I'm also going to try out the purple shampoo thing because I do have my purple shampoo here where you put your purple shampoo in when your hair is dry and then you let it sit and then wash it normally after instead of doing it in the shower. I'm not gonna lie tonight. You don't get it. 7.30, I just walked out with my mom and I changed my shirt into just like an old raggedy t-shirt, whatever, since the other one I was wearing is brand new and I didn't want to ruin it with my purple shampoo sitting on it. So I'm gonna brush my hair out and turn myself into Hagrid. I'm doing this just because I'm bored. I do need my hair redone because my highlights have grown out a little bit and I need a trim. And obviously they could be Tone, but my hair really hasn't gotten it probably looks brassy right now but when I use my pearl shampoo regularly it makes it better instantly but it's just funny that I'm doing this right now considering I'm actually a brunette and I just have like subtle baby lights pretty much and balayage and I'm about to do this <laughs> trick to make your highlights like platinum blonde so we're about to see what happens here if you've ever wondered what curly hair looks like brushed this is it and this is why curly Haired girls do not brush their hair. And I really need a trim. I literally have like triangle head right now. Okay, so I guess the next step is to put the purple mask in my hair. Use this Pravana Perfect Blonde Purple Tony Mask. This is just what the lady who does my hair back home in Florida um, recommended me to use. And she just said the mask is really good because it's like hydrating at the same time. And it just works really well. And I've used this brand before when I had highlights last time. Um, but I use this pretty much twice a week. I just waste a lot of product already because I can't really distribute it well. Okay, I feel like some of my hair is going to be like the normal, not so platinum blonde where the highlights are, and then other parts are going to be like really platinum blonde because I have way too much hair to do this because I've already used like 10 times the amount I normally use in my hair. It's been 40 minutes on accident. I did not mean to wait that long, but. Now I'm gonna shower and see what happens. So I showered and it says to start with wet hair and then do leave-in conditioner. So I'm gonna put in leave-in conditioner but I just brush my hair down the middle and I look crazy. So I'm just gonna use the, thankfully I actually have leave-in conditioner with me. 
this is all I have. I always take this when I travel. Nourishing styling cream, um, basically a leave-in conditioner. So I'm gonna put this in my hair and that's the first step. And then after the leave-in conditioner, she scrunches her hair. So we're gonna do that. And then after scrunching, she uses shine oil, which I do not have, so I'm not gonna use. I do have some from Aussie that's really amazing at school though that I just didn't pack. And then she uses Diva Curl Gel, which I don't have, so I'm gonna use the mousse that I found in my bag, which I like a lot. And it's just the Herbal Essence that is totally twisted, curl boosting mousse, which is really good and really cheap. The difference is with the gel, she scrunches with the t-shirt instead of her hands. So I'm gonna scrunch with a t-shirt instead of my hands after putting this in. I'm not going to do anything to the top, I guess, and I'm just going to use this t-shirt <laughs> and scrunch away. Wait, it looks like it's doing good. Okay, guys, it's 11. I'm about to go to bed. Um, I've been editing. I was planning on working a little bit more on my case for strategic management tonight, but I honestly did a lot this morning, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, update on the hair. Um, the lighting's terrible, right? Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell. This is what the curls look like. They're a little bit crunchy, which doesn't normally happen to my hair. I think it's from putting the mousse in like after and then scrunching it with the t-shirt because scrunching it with the t-shirt made it dry. But it's only a little bit in the front. But I feel like overall the curls look good. But like if I had off my normal hair products and I would have been able to do that, I feel like it would have looked even better and like not so crunchy. But as far as the blonde thing goes, I can't even tell because my hair is, it's like dry but crunchy so you can't even tell. Cause I'm not ready, if I'm not ready, I'm not gonna rock tonight, you don't get everything you like. Cause I'm not ready, if I'm not ready, second guessing your words, cause you choke right when I see laying on top of my pillows right now but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog be sure to subscribe if you aren't already follow me on social media link down below and also in regard to me talking about tiktok earlier i will probably never post one just because it's like not like i'm not into it like that but um i don't care if anyone is like i don't judge anyone that is by any means but like i don't think i don't personally ever see myself like being into it but I just like looking at it for the cool travel stuff and the little hacks and there's some really funny stuff on there too and a lot of pets, which I like. So yeah, don't like follow me expecting me to like post a bunch or anything like that. But I will see you guys in my next vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.